We're turning now to the tragic death of basketball legend Kobe Bryant as mourners share floral tributes for the NBA star outside his home stadium in Los Angeles. Fans and admirers the world over are coming to grips with his passing, including Brisbane Bullets coach and at one point on-court rival CJ Bruton. Uh, CJ, good morning to you. Um, tough morning yesterday, wasn't it? How did you find out about the news of Kobe's death and what was your reaction? Talk Tough way to wake up and uh, see a text message saying that uh, he's gone and then you get on social media and find out that Kobe Bryant has passed and it was devastating and then going to practice and having Andre Lamanis uh, ask the team, uh, you know, what does, this, what does this mean to you? Like it's, it's not every day that you wake up and hear that a legend like Kobe is or anyone passing and Jace Kadeek spoke to it a little bit about, you know, what a, uh, just uh, that feeling mm. of what it might have been like for him and just a sad moment for all the people that passed um, in, in that time. I mean, I think you said it so perfectly there. He was a legend of the game. You played against each other throughout your career, most notably um, at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. What was Kobe like and what was it like to play someone of his calibre? Uh, he was amazing. Uh, First and foremost, his self-discipline and the way that uh, he went about his business and working on his game every day and trying to give the fans uh, that, that mindset that you can do anything if you set your mind to it. And then the strategy of the game, the way that he studied it, and it's been talked about over and over and it will continue to be talked about, um, just sort of how to get his shot off and get open to the schemes that were played uh, against him. Uh, to. Just his teammates, you know, you'll hear so many tributes for someone that's going to be a first ballot inducted in the Hall of Fame. Uh, just his greatness, uh, not only uh, as a basketball player, but also as a family man and what he's done in the community also. For those who don't know, for those who, who don't um, account appreciate just how big a star he was, uh, can you give us some sense of that um, in the United States? Uh, say that again. Can you give us some sense of how big a star he was in the US and amongst the basketball communities? Well, we say basketball's a family. No matter where you go across the globe, it's, it's recognised. And if you know one person that knows someone else, um, then you're all connected. So it, it's a heavy heart for all around, all around the world. Uh, he's a global icon um, from, Michael, there's from past players like Michael Jordan to someone like Kobe Bryant of this generation. Uh, to have yeah. kids look up to him, they're going to study him. It's it's going to it's going to devastate the world for a long time. We're just having a look at, as you're talking there, CJ, of, of the beautiful tributes that are being laid for Kobe, and and to remember too that he, he wasn't the only one killed in this helicopter crash. There were nine True. people killed, including his his gorgeous daughter Gigi, who was 13, a very talented basketball player. There are a lot of people hurting right now, aren't there? So many, so many people. Um, to know that you, you lose a child, but some, some people lost fathers and siblings, and that, that devastation just reminds us all how, how short life is and how you need to hug people and remind them that you love them uh, and show that every single day. Every moment is precious. Beautifully said, CJ. We appreciate your time today. Thank you.